Hey guys, it's Small Bus Rider, and today I'm going to be showing you just a little program I ran into. Uh, it's a pretty nifty one. Um, it's for Minecraft, as you can probably tell. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and show it to you now. So I'm going to load my world. Um, I delete all my worlds because I kind of got bored. I was going to go for something a little bit more ambitious. But uh, here's my world. And um, this this world that I generated is incredibly unique looking. Um, see, we have a little little island over here. Very tiny a uh, tall island, and uh, that I did make by myself. I was trying to grow a tree. I failed. Um, and uh, yeah, it's just a very interesting looking uh, server. So what this program does is actually um, great for such a use, and that's for mapping out geography. And uh, I figured why not choose this map, because this map is such an interesting looking map. I think it would be only fair to use it on such a beautiful map. <clears throat> so I'm going to go ahead and minimize this. And as you, oop, that's my recording. Oh no, no, no. All right, here it is. Here's my, here's my little thing right here. It's called cart cartograph. And what I do is I select the world and I select the view. It, what it does is it creates an image, and the image gives you basically in like an overview of the entire world. And uh, it's really quite interesting. You could do uh, height maps, which are basically color coded. I think I can show you what that looks like in a second here. And then there's isometric, and that that's probably my favorite, but normal is probably the most useful. And what you can also do right here, it says um, 0 through 128 and 0 only, is you can make it to where it only displays certain um, certain cubes. And that would be like if you want to find diamond, you can do that. You can it, It'll really help you find diamond a lot more easily. Um, that's kind of cheating, so I don't like to do that, but I do like to see just kind of what my island looks like, and then if I see something interesting, I'll go there and explore it in more depth. Uh, that's what I like to use this program for. Um, so, uh, what you would do normally is you'd select the world of which you want to take a picture of, essentially, and you choose one of these, and then you just click render. And these are just some more extra options over here. You can mess with those if you want to figure out what they do. And then what happens is you go into your folder for cartograph, and your pictures are generated. That's where they go. It should say, it'll say done after you're done generating, and then they appear here. So, I'll go ahead and show you a couple pictures. Here's my isometric uh, view, and as you can see, right there, uh, where my pointer is, there's a island. I'm that has to be where I am, um, probably right, 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 like well, on one of these cliffs right over here, um, which would be pretty, pretty much near the spawn. I spawn like right on the beach right there. You can't see it because of the the angled view, but uh, it's a pretty, pretty nice looking program. I mean, it generated this in 15 seconds, I'd say. So that's that's definitely cool. Um, I'll show you an oblique angle. Um, this is another interesting angle. It looks pretty much the same as the isometric to me, um, but it looks a little squishier. <clears throat> Here's a height map color. I'm really not sure how to use this still. I'll get back to you on that, but it appears as though the, the redder the color, the higher it is on the map, and the greener, the closer it is to sea level. I don't know what that is either. Slice doesn't really seem very very useful. And here's oh no nope, no nope, no. Nope. All right, looks like you guys are in luck. You get to see me um you get to see me generate a map because I guess I forgot to generate one for you guys. So let's go ahead and do it. World three, normal, render. Let's render this shit. And that's really fast. <laughs> done. Okay, this is done. You could go here. Normal day. And this is the useful one. Um, I'll go ahead and zoom in a little bit. Whoops. And uh, as you can see here, you'll see my, my island. And you see this little bit, little speck right there. And that is, um, I made that myself. I was trying to grow a tree, as I, I think I mentioned. Um, and I failed miserably. But there's my little, little tree I try to make on the dirt. Ah, shut up, kitty. And uh, there's that giant island, and uh, it's quite a nifty program. I think like just, I don't know what this is down here. That looks so interesting to me. I don't think you can see it. There you go. And uh, I was gonna go explore that. Probably a lot of iron and maybe uh, some gold and diamond over there. Um, but yeah, it's it's definitely an interesting program. I would really recommend the download. Um, I'll put a download link in the description and uh, you'll be good to go. Um, and also, if it doesn't work for you, be sure you download, um, there's like a service thing you have to download for your computer. It takes like 
10 seconds to install. I would really recommend you, you install that beforehand because your computer just needs it anyway. So go ahead and do that. And um, that's all I really say for today, guys. Uh, small bus rider, uh, small bus rider's out.